Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 110 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And in this video, we are going to work on the view CMS pages. In last video, you have seen uh, that we able to add the CMS uh, page and uh, it going to our database uh, correctly and about a page that we have created and some dummy description with URL and, and it's saved in our table, okay? So we want to view all uh, these uh, CMS pages in view CMS pages. Uh, same like we have done with view product. You can see uh, this data table. We need to do uh, like this. And we will also do that view functionality uh, to display uh, the CMS page uh, in the pop-up model as well. Okay. So this thing we are going to do now. And uh, uh, we'll create the functionality for view CMS pages. Okay, so let's start working on it. First of all, uh, we are going to create the route uh, like we have done in the earlier videos as well for products and for other things. And uh, uh, now we will create the route for uh, view CMS pages. So this, this is my dummy product. I'm going to add this one sample 5.7. Here I'm going to add. Okay. So here I'm going to add, yeah, CMS. Yeah, here, see here, we have done with add CMS route. Now another route we are going to create, and this time uh, we are going to create the get route because only get route is required for uh, view CMS pages and nothing else required. So we will create the view CMS pages route, okay? We must see this route we are going to create, and this route we are going to create with the get route like this. Okay, so we are going to create admin. Okay, then view CMS page. Okay, yeah, like this. You see, must do this, and after that, uh, we can add that CMS controller. Okay, that we have created, and there we will make one new function, view CMS pages like this. Okay, then semicolon. <clears throat> okay, this is the route for view CMS pages. Okay, so now we are going to create this uh, view uh, CMS pages function in CMS controller file. Okay, so here uh, we are going to create another function that is view CMS pages. Okay, so function view CMS pages okay I will not pass anything in this function as this is uh, with get route so here uh, we are going to uh, fetch all CMS pages we will write the query for it very simple query we are going to write like CMS pages like this and here we will add model CMS pages of our model and simply we will write our get. So to get the all CMS pages, even unable and disable, we will get all CMS pages. So uh, first of all, we want to see that whether the CMS pages are coming fine or not. So for debugging, uh, we are going to do like this, CMS pages, uh, JSON decode, uh, JSON encode, okay. This one, and then again, dollar CMS pages like this. And here we are going to see uh, the CMS page copy print our dollar CMS page like this. Okay. Die. Okay, we are going to see the CMS page here, and here we are going to click on okay only one page we have created so far, and that is we can able to see okay. Now uh, we can add one more page so that uh, two pages will come there and we can see both these pages and one more page we can create like terms and conditions. We're going to create terms and conditions. Okay. Uh, here see the page URL. We will make URL like terms, conditions, like this and description. Uh, this is uh, term and condition page. Okay, and enable, and this one also we can add. Okay, now we can see we able to add two. Now we can see 
their view famous pages both the uh, miss pages have come here okay so it means it's working fine and now we can remove these two things because we don't require and you can simply remove it at all here from here okay so here uh, now we just simply return uh, this uh, to our cms uh, page this view CMS pages that we are going to create. Now we are going to do like this admin uh, dot pages and after that view CMS pages and this one we are going to create and we are going to send with compact okay and this CMS page pages we are going to send to this return to this blade file view cms pages okay so i'm going to create this file now view cms pages okay so i'm going to create this file the source is use uh, admin pages and here i'm going to create this file and here like this uh, yeah simply name it dot blade dot php view underscore cms underscore pages dot blade dot php okay yes and now we can open this file view cms pages okay so now uh, we can copy this view cms pages uh, from the view product blade file because there we have already added the data table and already fetched the data of products and we just need to copy that view product split file and we can make changes in that because uh, if we are going to start from the beginning then it will be a lot of our time okay so we can simply open here view products split file and we can copy this one and we'll paste it here view cms pages okay so I'm going to close products and we'll make changes here. Okay. So yeah, we are going to create like uh, all products like CMS pages like this. And uh, yeah, now we are going to see one by one. And here we will give uh, these things where uh, we are going to give. Uh, okay. So. ID will come here after ID title of the page title okay and description so we can give URL here URL description we will not give and we can give status okay status okay, here also we can give like page ID okay page ID title URL status and after that we'll add create it all and nothing else required we can move all our manner code okay so we are going to move this one now this seems to find page ID title URL status get on action okay so here uh, we are going to add the CMS pages now that we have are calling here pages and here also cms only okay so here we are going to add page i'm going to move everything because we will do it again do like this okay so first one is id second one is title third one is url okay and fourth one uh, is status and status right now it is one zero we will modify it and after that created at date we come here created at okay and after created at then this one is not required we can remove all that images are not here we can also remove this one as well okay and this one also not required we can remove this one and yeah now now it is fine okay so here as well uh, we can simply update this one with the page okay so yeah 
so we can simply update this page and here uh, this we are using the mo my model uh, okay uh, this my model we are going to open here okay so for every page we are going to open the model pop-up to show the play page details and same thing we have done with the products so just need to make some of the changes like model name uh, we are going to update model model uh, means data we are going to update here uh, we are going to call or related data like title will become like title this which one also I'm going to move and tell URL status create wrong okay status First, we are going to add URL. Sorry, URL. After that, status. After that, uh, we are going to display here catalog. Okay. Direct we come here. Here we are displaying description. Okay. Okay. Now it seems to be fine. Mm. There we go. Yeah, we can just check once that here. Not required for now. We can move. Sorry, do that one. Okay. So. Oh, okay. So everything now fine. We can refresh and we'll see you see pages. Okay. So let's see. No, some error has come. We are going to see undefined variable page. Okay. Oh, sorry. We have we have added CMS. So that's why which has come. We are going to update this one with page. Okay. So now it will work fine. Yeah, both the pages are coming fine. CMS pages you can see. Uh, CMS pages here. CMS pages. CMS pages, CMS pages fine about the same terms and condition also coming fine. Okay. And here in view, you can see the view of the CMS page. Here we are going to update. Uh, okay. And this is the view of second CMS page title 2. Uh, title 2. This is here is some issue. You can see, oh, yeah, title it is wrong uh, here. We are passing title. Okay, yeah, now it is fine. And refresh. Now it is fine. Okay, we are going to update this status. If the status is one, then we will show active. If the status is zero, then we will show inactive. Okay, so we can update this status as well here. We will add the simple condition. Okay, if it is one, we can just simply keep it without code also. One, then it is active. As it is inactive, like this. Okay, now I'm going to copy the same here. Okay, so now we are going to see 
see here active status is coming both are active and we're going to here active is coming fine as well okay so you can see now it is coming fine and in place of full details we will see uh, full detail is coming fine but here it is issue we can give it title go to title now it will become fine title as well okay you can see here about us full details okay uh, or we can write about us pay details okay that will look good uh, yeah now it will look good now we can see once again see here about us pay details all details are coming here and here is the term inclusion period details okay we can even make the uh, these things bold as well if you want like uh, it will then look more so friendly so we can just simply add it Okay, now we can see view now it is looking even better. Okay, so can you switch to details title URL status created on description? Okay, so now it is fine and we can remove this unwanted code that we have copied from there. We can remove this one add attributes, we can remove add images as well. Okay, and we can add here view view is fine okay here edit page okay that is uh, that we can give edit cms page okay when we do edit cms then it will combine and here as well we can give the url like same url we can give we'll delete cms page okay now it will look fine edit cms page delete cms page yeah now fine now we can see yeah, these things we want to delete uh, okay See now only view edit delete is left. Okay, now it looks fine. View we have done, and edit and delete we are going to do in next video. Okay, uh, now I hope that uh, you able to do this task. View CMS page um, it's not that much difficult. Okay then, uh, edit and delete we will do in next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.